Hello, everyone. Be right back. It's a nine minute interview that they're doing. About Biden's son, about Hunter Biden. Of course, I'm going to be cutting a lot of this. All right, so I want to show it a good uh, portion of it. I'm not going to show the whole nine minutes because um, here, here's the interview to two of them, and it says, "What did President? What did the president do wrong?" Congressman James Comer of Kentucky. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thanks for joining us. So the memo alleges payments to Biden family members and associates, uh, but not to President Biden himself. Your committee of memo anticipates any pushback on this by stating, quote, President Biden's defenders purport a weak defense by asserting the committee must show payments directly to the president to show corruption, unquote. But was respectfully, sir, you're the one who said repeatedly that this investigation is about President Joe Biden, not his family, over and over. Here's what you said last November. I want to be clear. This is an investigation of Joe Biden. And that's where the committee will focus in this next Congress. So let's posit for the sake of argument that Hunter Biden is sleazy and the president's relatives tried to profit off the Biden family brand, something CNN has reported on. What's new in this memo? Well, before we release the memo, we interviewed Devin Archer, who is one of the associates who was partial owner of one of the shell companies that the Bidens were receiving money from foreign nationals and then laundering it into Biden bank accounts. So the uh, associate Devin Archer testified that Joe Biden had, in fact, spoken to over 20 of the people who had wired the money. Uh, to the Biden family members. Now, the reason that's important, Jake, is because the president said repeatedly he had never spoken to his son or anyone affiliated with his son in their business dealings. Now, there, there is no business. So what the business was, according to Devin Archer, was they were taking money from foreign nationals and they were marketing Joe Biden. Joe Biden was the brand. So that is the first associate that came in implicated Joe Biden as being the reason they were getting this money, and the money is from bad people. The money is from people who are either incarcerated in the countries where they wired the money or they are on the flee from being incarcerated. So we're concerned that the president is compromised because of the millions of dollars that his family's received. And remember, Jake, the president hasn't been truthful with the American people. First of all, he said he never communicated with these people. Devin Archer testified that he has mm -hmm. 20 times, in fact, at least. And then he said that none of this money ever happened while he was vice president. We didn't know this at the beginning of the investigation, but what we know now is the overwhelming majority of the wire transfers happened while Joe Biden was vice president. And they happened days after he left those countries with foreign aid checks or talking about foreign aid. So, so there is a pattern here that should concern every American with respect to corruption in the White House. Well, you, you definitely have made a case that the people who are around President Biden in terms of the lobbyists and his son Hunter have trafficked on that connection to the then vice president, now president. But I haven't yet seen any evidence that the president did anything wrong. Listen, you, you talk about Devin Archer, uh, Hunter Biden's uh, Hunter Biden's former business partner. Listen to something Devin Archer told Tucker Carlson. Now listen to this. Burisma, and Burisma, as people remember probably, that is that Ukrainian energy company that put Hunter Biden on its board while his father was vice president. Take a listen. Did you ever, were you aware, do you acknowledge that Hunter spoke to his dad about Burisma? Do I have knowledge? Yes. Do you know that Hunter spoke to his dad about Prisma? Did you ever see them talk about it, hear them talk about it? Sorry about the glare. I, no, no, I don't have knowledge of that, though I'd assume it. So it's enough to be sitting in a meal at Lake Como with your new Ukrainian friends. And why your dad happens to call, let's put him on speaker. 
that would be that. That's I think that's 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 enough. That's the most you know the second most powerful man in the world. It's just how how the world works. So it's assumptions. It's how the okay. world works. But again, so he's looking for evidence. Okay. Hunter Biden didn't pay taxes on some money that he got, right? And there's a statute of limitations. This $20 million. He was supposed to pay taxes on that $20 million. You got six years before the government can bring charges against you, the federal government. Excuse me. And there's a case recently where he was offered a deal. And because his father is the president of the United States, he was offered a deal through Merrick Garland. Um, his father intervened. I don't give a fuck if they say his father did not intervene. Merrick Garland gave him a sweetheart deal because see the, the six years for him to be prosecuted for not paying taxes on $20 million, $20 million has expired because his father is the president. So when they brought the deal before the judge, judge said, ho, ho, ho. Oh, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> no, we're, I'm not accepting that deal. And so smack on the hand. No, motherfucker, you just like the rest of us. You're going to go to jail or do whatever you're going to do or pay whatever you're going to pay. But no, that deal's not getting accepted because your daddy's the president. This, what Comer and what Jake Taper is talking about it with him, oh, but but your father was the vice president and you got money for being sitting on the board because your daddy was the vice president. And so we name dropped and let you sit on the board so these criminals in another country could do a business deal with us. So the fuck what? What does that have to do with Joe Biden that some criminals that your son knew, use your name because you were the vice president. And guess what? That's who my father is. Uh, so, uh, so, so criminals wanted to do business with you because your father was the vice president of, of the United States. And now your father is the president, even though the deals were done back then. And so some criminals said, oh, yeah, I'll do business with you because you're buddies with him. And his father is the president, vice president of the United States. And he didn't pay taxes on the $20 million that you gave to him, not his father or anybody else in his father's family, because his father can't take no money directly because his father is the vice president of the United States. His father can't take no money indirectly because his father is a vice president of the United States. Y'all are reaching, you're grasping at straws because his father was the vice president of the United States. So you're not going to find no paperwork, no, no hidden companies, no bank accounts, no nothing that ties Joe Biden to anything that his goddamn son did. No secret companies, no quiet companies. Oh, hold on. My cake. It's so pretty. To pick in Toothpick out. Toothpick in, toothpick out. I'm making a cake with sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles. All right. So, anyway. Um, let me go back to this. I'll be cutting it. And let me go to the part. Let me get to the FBI will not cooperate with us. The IRS will not cooperate with us. Thank God we have whistleblowers will not cooperate with us. After he left Romania, his family started receiving wires from a corrupt Romanian foreign national. Days, like four days after. He's he talking left. about Biden. Including his granddaughter. What's his granddaughter doing getting a wire from a Romanian so, foreign national? But this is why we're investigating. And it's difficult, Jake. It's very difficult. 
the, the Biden attorneys are obstructing. They're intimidating witnesses. The DOJ will not cooperate with us. The FBI will not cooperate with us. The IRS will not cooperate with us. Thank God we had whistleblowers from the IRS testifying our committee that they were told to stand down by the DOJ. Sure, Thank we God had we, we, we had one of those we had those we had one of those whistleblowers uh, on the show. Actually, we did an interview with him. I don't know yeah. if you well, knew CNN's that. CNN's done a no better job than a lot. That's why I'm on the on the show, and I'm a fan, and, and I'm working with you on this. But All I right. do think that. It, 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 there's there's certainly overwhelming evidence. Remember, there's a text message from Hunter Biden to his daughter complaining that he had to give his father half his salary. So we've gone through a lot of bank records. Yeah, We haven't gone through all the bank records, but look, we've caught Joe Biden in several lies, including that he never spoke with any of these corrupt people from these foreign countries that sent his family money. He had dinner with some of them, we found out right. in this. He had, you know, so there, there's, I think, more than enough evidence to show that Joe Biden hasn't been truthful with the American people. And you know, he had knowledge that his family was money laundering. He had to. You think the Treasury? Well, money, but money laundering. Uh, look, I, I, if there's evidence of money laundering, which is a, which is a crime, which is a, which is a federal crime, then obviously uh, your committee should report it uh, to to the FBI. And that's why and the, the judge Department. picked it out. That's yeah. one of the reasons. Delaware judge rejected the, the sweetheart plea deal. The judge there was clearly violations of the Foreign Agents right. Registration Act and money laundering. Right. Republican Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, Kentucky, you come back uh, when you got when you got more. Okay. And so that's why I took the time to show you that. That's I didn't play the whole nine minutes. Um because there there Joe Biden has, has always been a corrupt motherfucker. Unfortunately, I had to vote for him to put him in office because it, I'm not one that doesn't vote. And I was sure I certainly was not going to help um, Donald Trump get in office. But women, we have to vote someone in office other than Joe Biden. He was a corrupt motherfucker when he was a politician. He was a corrupt motherfucker when he's vice president and he's a corrupt motherfucker that he's a president. So it's a shame that in this country we have to pick a, a less corrupt person to get rid of a more, more corrupt person. Somebody like Tr Donald Trump, who, as you see from the, the four indictments that would destroy our democracy. Now, some people say, oh, the hell with it. I'm not going to vote at all. Let the chips fall where they may. But women that have common sense and the men that are voting, we know that we have to have some type of structure structure. We know that we have to have some type of democracy. Call it what you want. You know, we have to have some type of government. Otherwise, it's the wild, wild west all over again. And in the west, y'all living through it because y'all getting shot up. Your kids are getting shot up. There, there really is no government. Your government in those, in those states is no government at all. Y'all can't even walk out your house. Y'all living in the wild, wild west. So we don't want that all across the whole country. So that's why women are coming out and, and we're starting to vote. Now y'all can't even have an abortion when you really, really need an abortion. So y'all living in the wild, wild west. Um, everybody, everybody got a gun. Whether you legally have a gun or whether you legally don't have a gun. Everybody got a gun. I don't have a problem with people having guns in their home to protect themselves. You should have a gun in your home to protect yourself. But you, everybody don't need a gun on their hips walking in the street. So the police don't know who the bad guy is and who is not the bad guy. If you're a retired officer, you should be able to still carry a gun if you're a retired officer or you, you know, you're in law enforcement. But if you're not retired law enforcement, you, you, you don't, and you're a regular person like myself, you, there's no reason for you to have a gun on your hip just walking around. Because I already know I get upset or I get scared that somebody's trying to attack me. I might shoot the wrong person. Fuck, I might shoot myself <laughs> trying to shoot somebody. <laughs> if I'm not trained in a situation to know what to do, what if I'm shooting somebody that's, uh, that's un, uh, unclothed officer that's really got a gun to try to help me? <laughs> so, I'm, you know, you let the people that's supposed to have a gun have a gun. Shit, but not shot the goddamn officer that's that's out there in clothes, plain clothes. That's that's supposed to help me. Um, you know, when you're under assault, you never know. <laughs> Fuck. 
anyway, um, but it's not good for people, plain clothes people, to just walk around with guns. But you know, um, I'm off topic. This video, I'm telling you, you people, you have to go out and vote. And I, I keep there's this guy named Philip Scott, and he keeps telling people, mostly men are listening to his um channel. Um, and like I said, he's he's some type of African anyway. Um but he got business in Africa. He, he I think he's African American, um, or something like that. But um his thing is he wants to take as many people as he can back to Africa. And when they get to Africa or Pan African, whatever he calls himself, him and Ice Cube, and, and then when they get to Africa, and I hope they go in and, and get that dual citizenship and give up their American citizenship and, and go to Africa and see what the hell happened to him. Cause see, Steve Harvey was talking about, oh, let's all let's go to Africa. We don't need America no more. He stopped, he stopped talking about going to Africa. Yeah. So let them let them go to Africa. And like I said, most of them are men and men do this. They don't they don't go out and vote, especially black men. I did a video on it last year sometime. Black men, they they a bunch of bullshitters. They don't or or, or they they black men are or turn to Republican. So we I don't care about them anyway. Um but Democrats, we the women, we are the ones who carry the party, no matter what your race. We are the ones that are carrying the Democratic Party and the few um, men that are going out and voting for the Democratic Party. Now, I'm not going to say no special thank you to men because you're supposed to be out there voting with us anyway. Um, and independents that are out there voting, you know, vote for your country. It's not even so much the party, which is why in my other videos, I I was speaking to the MAGA and the um, the three percenters and the independents. I speak to everybody on my channel. And um, uh, those those other people, whatever you all look, the ones that's going to, to, to jail for Donald Trump. I was just listening to um, Kevin McCarthy standing there lying. And I'm not going to put it on my channel, but he's standing there lying. And he said he said that, look what Nancy Pelosi did. As if he was not part of what Nancy Pelosi did. So I said to myself, it's not Nancy Pelosi. You've been in Congress just as long as Nancy Pelosi. Y'all passed them together. Y'all did it together. Don't say Nancy Pelosi. You, Nancy Pelosi, Clyde Davis, Hakeem Jeffries, all y'all did that shit together. Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell been in Congress so long, the motherfucker see now. Him and the other lady, I can't remember her name from California, Adam Schiff, all y'all did this shit together. All these bills that's passed, all these omnibus pills, all this continuing resolutions, y'all all did that shit together. The inflation that with Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton when she was the Secretary of State, all y'all did this shit together. What we are experiencing, what we are going through right now, y'all did this to us. And now you got Joe Biden as the president. He does not need to be the president again. He does not need to be the president again. So whatever Je uh, Comer can't find about him, whatever money that was funneled through his son, you, you're not going to find it. What the fuck? It is no different than what anybody else has gotten to the presidency that has done. These little backdoor deals and the judges, the specific judges that's been appointed, that's been helping them. I, my thing is, when is America going to be tired? When are Americans, the voting Americans going to be tired? Because like I said, half the people that I know, they don't even vote. Somebody could come up with with because because uh, Trump is gone. He's a goner. He he cannot run. The 14th Amendment says he cannot run once he is convicted. I don't give a fuck if the Democrat, the Republicans sit there and vote him in as their candidate. He cannot take office once he is convicted. There's a 14th Amendment um, says he cannot be the president once he is convicted for crimes against the United States or for helping people for crimes against the United States. He cannot be sworn in. He cannot be. Um, so if y'all stupid enough to let him do that, he, he cannot do it. So your next person in line is going to be DeSantis. So if Joe Biden gets knocked out 
And we know once, uh, then this is why I made this video. I almost forgot to, to stress this point. Should Joe Biden walking around with his hunter, because hey, we all got a hunter in our family. It, it is just is. Whether it's drugs or liquor or sex or whatever, what the fuck? You can't throw away your family as your family. You can't throw them out with the trash. We all, everybody got a hunter in their family. So if somebody at the last minute, and I think they are going to come forward with that proof at the last minute, that's going to eliminate um, Biden from running for president and put him under the microscope. I think they know who it is already. They're just holding on to it at the last minute. I think the Republicans already know. They already got the connection <laughs> that connects Biden so that when he put his bid in, that he already put his bid in to run, they're going to come out with it at the last minute and it's going to be nothing you could do. That's going to knock Biden out. Trump's already knocked out because he's going to be convicted. So your next person in line for president, I'm not voting for Biden anyway. The next person in line for president is going to be Ron DeSantis. This is why I'm making this video. They already know they have the evidence connecting Joe Biden. They're just biding their time. That's why they're keeping it going and keeping it going and keeping it going. So Gavin Newsom or somebody throw your hat into the ring before it's too late because Joe Biden is going to be and they're going to come back at us and say, see, you all Democrats talked all this bullshit. About not backing somebody for president like um, Donald Trump. But look at your guy. We found the evidence now. Your guy is under investigation now. You all aren't going to back him, are you? I'm telling you, that's what they're going to do. They already got the, the connection. They already found the judge. Ask me how I know this. <laughs> Ask me how I know this. Y'all haven't figured this out? Who had records for over 11, 18 months? Why was judges sitting in the courtroom during somebody's, uh, <laughs> during somebody's um, indictment? If he can't be president, Biden ain't going to be president either. So who do we have lined up to be president? <clears throat> other than Corner West. Corner West. Because we know you white people ain't putting that nigga in the White House. He got two black parents. Who we got lined up? The only person that made rounds was Gavin Newsom. Well, sometimes y'all don't think. So women, Democrat, independent, whatever you want to call yourself, who are we putting in office? Because it ain't going to be Joe Biden. Have a nice day.